My name is Chris Welfley. I'm the Vice Principal and Head of Department for Higher Commercial Diploma at Kaufa Zurich Business School in Zurich, Switzerland. And we are now the biggest commercial vocational school in Switzerland with over 4,000 uh, students and over 200 teachers offering an upper secondary education to students from 15 years onwards. We offer commercial vocational training as well as vocational baccalaureate and even post-secondary further educational courses. The majority of our students spend two days per week with us at school and three days with their employers, for example a bank, an insurance company, an accountancy firm or a local administration. Our key challenges are to provide our students with a focused education so that they can compete in an increasingly global and competitive world and markets and yet at the same time provide them with a solid general education that leaves all their opportunities open in a market that demands increasingly flexible and versatile workforce. As providers of a federal state education, our students are mostly local residents, but even so, their background is multicultural, often with migrant parents, and we should really make the most of this diversity. This internationality reflects the current world. The workplace is increasingly competitive on a global scale, and cultural awareness as well as language skills are becoming more and more important. International education to me means not only having international students or clients, but also make the opportunity for our local students to go abroad after their apprenticeship. And of course that our apprenticeship is internationally recognized. In Switzerland we have the dual track model with the vocational program. Students go to school and students go to their employer for three years. So we're always up to date with what our employers expect from their employees. So we can adapt our programs and courses. Vocational commercial training is one of the most popular educational choices for our youth. So I believe that one reason is the flexibility the training provides. At age 18, the students complete their apprenticeship with a CV boasting solid work experience. And often they keep our students afterwards for full employees and often they send them to international workplaces. That uh, means that our students have to be equipped with languages, language skills such as um, higher diplomas in French and English. Also we um, send our classes to language stays abroad. We force our students to take internationally recognized uh, language diplomas to boost their CVs. But also they have the opportunity to go to university and study on and get an academic um, degree like bachelor or master. So we have both ways for them. In Switzerland, when students attend vocational programs, they do it in governmental schools. So students don't pay for school, the company pays and the government pays. Um, the curriculum is very wide. Languages from German, English, French, mathematics, and then in commercial schools, of course, financial accounting, business administration and economics. More and more countries are seeing the benefits of a dual track education, namely an apprenticeship in a company and a solid education in school. Countries that traditionally offer these educational options need to continue working together on an international level to ensure that these degrees are recognized for what they are worth and their students have the same access to higher education and uh, job opportunities abroad than they would have at home. It is actually very difficult to compare educational systems in two countries when the systems are not equal. Um, comparison is not all, but interaction and communication um, is very, very important. So the problem sometimes is that um, comparison comes to an end with a percentage of baccalaureate or bachelor or maturity. Um, and that's not the, the point. Um, in different countries, there are different possibilities for students. So I'm very uh, wondering about educational systems from Germany, from France, from the UK, from America. 
and I hope that these countries are also wondering about our educational system so we can profit together. Our system, the Swiss system, is very old and tra traditional and we always um, are making the best out of the needs of the companies. So we work actually for a small Swiss market. Switzerland is a multilingual country and we need to make sure we draw on this strength. We want to foster cultural awareness and openness in our future citizens. The educational system has changed a lot over the last decades and I believe it will change even more and faster. The direction is clearly towards more international recognition and interaction. Thank you.